Uh, let's just park over here. Yeah, it's a little better light there now. That works out. Yeah, Still way picking better. picking up? Oh yeah, much better. Where we're going? I'm just doing a little uncut for us. A little, little raw. Raw dog. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's right. We just got done seeing Furious 7, or Fast and the Furious 7 for the, the layman's out there. It started with the Fast and the Furious. Yes. But around but four or five, yeah, but they it cut the the. Push, yeah. And then it went, and then. It was the, just Fast 5. Now yeah. it's just Furious 7. But then I've seen trailers where they also call it Fast and the Furious 7. It's just a convoluted mm. nightmare. And some of them take place before Tokyo Drift. Correct. All the new ones do. And I think we finally caught up to Tokyo Drift. We even get the guy from Tokyo Drift in this. He's terrible. His accent somehow got even thicker. I don't even know if he had one in Tokyo Drift. I, I don't know. You know, the only thing we didn't catch up to, Ja Rule. Yeah, he really, he really screwed the pooch not wanting to be in these films because mm -hmm. they've gone from kind of a mediocre drag racing to an Avengers blockbuster. These movies make fucking bank. It's an event. I still think they should team up with the Transformers and just combine universes. Yeah. Uh, D Good. Diesel can drive Bumblebee. Bumblebee! So let's break this down. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Fast and the Furious films. I don't think you are either. What do you mean by fan? Like, I mean, like, I like to laugh a lot if that's what you're asking. <laughs> They're really stupid. I don't like Fast and the Furious 1 through, like, 4. 5 is when they turn the corner for me, and I think the director and the actors kind of realized, we're going to make some really over-the-top shit now. Ludicrous, and, if you may. Very ludicrous, yes. The the actor in the film and the, and the, and the superior rapper. But... Uh, what do we? What, what do I have to say? I think this is probably the best, honestly. Ah, uh, the best one I have seen. I, I remember when uh, a lot of the reviews coming out for number five were very uh, meaty, very praiseworthy, and I actually fell asleep during Christmas Eve trying to get through number Fast Five. Never made it to six, but I actually really enjoyed six number seven. Six was good. Six, I six think, is, is good? this is better than six, okay. but it just builds off of it more. You know, the absurdity, the uh, the ludicrousness. If you say is ludicrousness a word, we're gonna make we're gonna make it. A Do word. you think it would have been a more enriching environment or experience had I seen number six no. first? Okay, all right, all right. So I'm okay. <laughs> they, they say family like thirty times in the movie. They say that's all every movie is. It's so, like, you know, so I don't have friends. I got family. That's, if you haven't seen six, you're okay. If you haven't seen any of them, you're okay. In fact, you're you're probably better off for it. This movie does a lot of things that uh, kind of the bros up they're like it's got its fast cars it's got its fast women a lot of ass shots mm -hmm. a lot of chest shots and a lot of cars going through buildings this time around going uh, through everything going through everything <laughs> everything's paper when you when you think that this car can't go any further <laughs> it inches a little bit further and to, to bounce off of that the humans are more indestructible than the vehicles themselves there's a there's a portion of the film where vin diesel just He's in harm's way. He's surrounded, and we were even talking about. You see it on the commercials when they open their parachutes and drop out of the out of the plane. Well, each car has a secondary chute. So I remember you turned over. And you're like, he's got a secondary chute. He's gonna go backwards off the hill. No, he just goes off the hill. He just rolls down the hill. The he's whole... essentially the T1000. <laughs> Vin Diesel is the T1000. The whole mountain. And then he just gets up. He's like, whoa. <laughs> That kind of hurts. There's a lot of like stretching and yeah, cracking that's... after like taking a three story fall. <laughs> a person that would normally get their head blown off is just a simple adjustment for like the rock. Although to be fair, that's probably <laughs> accurate. There's so many people thrown into this film. It's okay. Like Kurt Russell's in there. Jason Statham's the bad guy. Jason Statham is Jason Statham in every single movie he's in, and I'm fine with that. He's a Except badass. for Snatch. He, he I, I, yeah, I, he's, he's I guess more, I'd cheer for him in that role. Yeah, well, he's amazing in Snatch. But yeah, otherwise, he's just a martial arts kicking badass. So question, um, we all know Fast 8's going to be coming out. It's oh, yeah, yeah. inevitable. Kurt Russell confirmed. New York um, setting. Who would you like to see as the new bad guy in Fast 8? I mean, they have went their way with Turkish. Let's bring someone else into the mix. Who are you looking for? Action stars. Well, 
as as par for the Furious Corps, bad guys can always return. Obviously. I won't be surprised if Statham rears his head again, mm-hmm. or if mm-hmm. they're going to let him cool off for a film. I'm guessing they're going to bring him back in some portion. Uh, who would I like to see, though? You're putting me on the spot, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing Stallone as a bad guy. <sighs> yeah. I think that could work. Yep, yep. I think that could really work. I feel like you're asking the question, but you already know the answer. I don't. No? Uh, I like how you flipped the script. Um, <laughs> you, you put me on the spot. Yeah, that, that's what we do. <laughs> that's how this, it feels. That's how movie feuds go. <laughs> this you know? is I, not I, pre-scripted. Yeah, no, that's right. This is uh, very bang, bang. Well, I can't uh, edit, you know, cut, so. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I say you bring back, uh, well, I don't know if you want to let this cat out of the bag, but I say you bring a, a more prominent role for Iggy Azalea. Oh in, my in God! Eight. Why? <laughs> she was okay. First things first. First, the movie's fucking dumb as hell. But we expect that. We want that. I want it even more dumb. But about, the, about as quick a cuts as you could ever have. Right. In a movie. Right. Yeah. The 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 camera. It's it's Michael Bay on crack. <laughs> the thing is constantly moving when they're on the phone because they know the audience is bored if you talk for more than five <laughs> seconds straight. Um, but to your point, there there's dumb and then there's just terrible. And Iggy Azalea gets one line and it's just brutally bad. It's just fucking terrible. And then Ra- Ra- how do you say her name? Ronda Ronda Rousey. Rousey. Yeah, she doesn't of MMA arouse anything from me. I want her off the screen. I don't want her ever in the <laughs> movies again. She was terrible in Expendables 3. She was even worse here. Thankfully, it's like two minutes of screen time, but it's still two minutes too much. Out of a two and a half hour movie, which... Why is it so long? It, it was long, but at the same time, I didn't find myself checking my watch. No, no. Like, like we've kind of hammered away that one of the dumbest movies you'll ever let me, see. Let me adjust this. You're kind of you're kind of off the the screen here. Let's let's get you be, let's get you more in here. This is a very technical, very yeah. Okay, we got it now. Um, sorry, I just derailed yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, derailed that whole conversation. I'm sorry. I I had trouble thinking during that movie, which is kind of extending into uh, <laughs> the <laughs> next twenty minutes past. Quickly, the movie. thirty se- ten seconds. Describe the plot of Fast and the Furious well, Seven to me. <laughs> all right, ten seconds or less. I'll say. Fast cars, um, worldwide wide eye that can see through any camera. I think your time's up already. Uh, <laughs> Destruction. The, the point I'm getting at is hill. no idea. Doesn't matter. Bad guys come and go without a care in the world. There's some sort of a God's eye computer thing that can hack into any phone or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's an excuse to get our guys behind the wheel and taking on some hardcore shit. See, I always, uh, as far as my view on movies versus your interest, I always seem to lean towards more of the indie mm-hmm. type stuff a yeah. lot of times. Not yeah. to say that you don't like a good yeah, indie here and there. Jump in once in a while. But I guess I don't mind a movie that doesn't allow me to think the entire it two and a half it, hours. It doesn't want you to think. It doesn't want you to think, and uh, I was okay with it in that, in that yeah. movie. Yeah, so... Like I said, if you're going to Fast and the Furious 7, you're clearly not new to the franchise. Uh, you know what you're getting into at this point. Some of you butthurt ones uh, from, like, what was it, Fast 4, where they kind of went mm-hmm. to this more Avengers kind of a thing. You're long gone at this point. All that's left is us newbies or us loyalists that want to see this kind of crazy stuff, and it's got it. It's got it all. I would actually say this is probably the best comedy I've seen this year. It's very funny. I was laughing funny. the entire time. I don't know if it's intentional. I mean, they have to know when they're setting these shots up of like Paul Walker running up the side of a bus <laughs> and, and jumping conveniently to Rodriguez, who's spinning the car over for him to catch. Hanging on by a thread under the side of the mirror. Everybody knows what everybody else is going to do. I mean, the rockets in an ambulance and destroys a fucking stealth like, plane. What a drone! Like he has no idea where with the drone an ambulance. Is. He has no idea where the ambu- He has no idea where the drone is. He has no idea where his team is. He's just like, I'm gonna drive it over this bridge, and I'm just gonna see what happens. Two days after falling like six stories out of a window <laughs> onto a car. Well, nothing makes sense. I mean, we've seen the rock kick. Uh, Diesel's ass in the last movie, yet The Rock gets his ass handed to him by Statham, but then later, Diesel can beat the shit out of Statham. It, no, nothing adds up. Nothing right. adds up, and, and also, nothing needs to, because I, I'm in it for the entertainment, and it's going to give it to me. It did give it to me. It's just it how add, I liked it. It adds up to Furious. <laughs> it does it's a different kind of math, Adam. <laughs> We're giving it a lot of praise, but should movies get a pass 
these days, it seems like Transformers and all these are all big budget, $200 million spectacles with zero substance and no, no script. Zero substance, but the one thing I like about Fast 7, if they truly are trying to do this, they at least can laugh at themselves. Yeah. Whereas I don't know necessarily that Transformers is trying to laugh at themselves. I, I, no, no, Michael Bay is not. He actually applied for the Oscars <laughs> this year. He thought he legitimately had the best oh. movie of the year. So, good point there. Everyone's got their own point of view. Let's give it a grade. Grade? You do what? Like 0 one to 10? 10 or do you do A, B, No, we do, we do okay. 0 through 10 still. The F for Furious isn't good enough. No. Uh, as far as like entertainment value on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give that an 8. Wow. That's an 8. Okay. An 8. Uh, Strictly entertainment. Yeah, I I mean, it's getting to the point now where the characters are growing on me a lot. Um, the tribute to Paul Walker was actually, you know, if I had any emotion whatsoever, I, I would have shed a tear because it was very heartfelt. That alone raises it up for me. And then Vin Diesel doing a Hulk smash at the <laughs> end uh, on the parking lot, that, that takes it to an eight for me as well. Yeah, so we got two eights. Go see it. You were going to anyways if you're watching this review. And, uh, you know, until next time, this is another car side review. I don't have an ending for this, so I just kind of awkwardly, yeah.